Hi everyone, this is Srinivas. Welcome to Amirpet Technologies. So in this video, I am going to introduce you object-oriented programming language. See, in any object-oriented programming language, a very important questions, most of the interview questions from object orientation only. So in this video tutorial, I will completely cover all concepts, all concepts of object-oriented programming. First of all, we need to understand, so what is exactly object-oriented programming? What is exactly object-oriented programming? See, object-oriented programming means simple, just defining the objects. This is one object, this is one object, this is one object and this is one object. Suppose, if you create four objects, how to create four objects and all, I'll explain. Just creating the objects or defining the objects and establish the communication between the objects. Establish the communication between the objects. So that is simply called object oriented programming. So what are objects exactly and how we are defining? Now think about one application. Think about one application. Suppose if you take one bank application, so bank application is always providing service to all customers, nothing but those who took the account from their bank. Here objects are nothing but account holder is one object, bank employee is one object. So giving the service, a bank employee suppose giving the service through any, any laptop that is also one object. See here, all these are objects, right? Defining the object, one account holder is one object, one employee is one object, any other medium is one object. Defining the objects and establish the communication. Why communication is required? Just transfer the information. Generally think, I am one object, you are one object. Now I am sharing the information to you. That is nothing but transferring the information from one object to another object. Sir, how can we define objects in object-oriented programming? With one example. See, if you want to define an object, for example, I just want to construct one house. I just want to construct one house. Can we start construction directly? No, it's impossible. It is impossible to construct a house without a plan. So, first of all, we need to prepare a plan. We need to prepare a plan. Right? For example, I want to create one account by re representing one account holder. Can we create that account directly? No, impossible. For that again one plan is required. One plan is required. The plan is nothing but class. A plan is nothing but class. So in object oriented programming, the one word is very very important is called class. Class is a plan that is describing an object. Suppose it's a model, is describing an object, is a template, is describing an object, it's a blueprint, right? Any name you can give. Once you define the plan, based on the plan, any number of objects, similar type of objects you can create. All similar type of objects you can create. These are similar objects constructed under the same plan, under the same plan. For example, best example, iPhone 13. iPhone 13 is not mobile, it's a model. Under this model, how many mobiles they constructed? All these mobiles manufactured under the same model only. The working functionality is the same. In the same way, once you define one class, based on the class, any number of objects you can create and in communication world objects only will participate not class 
the model will not participate only the mobile will participate in communication i am a human right i am a human human is just a representation a class but a human will not communicate right for example when we create object from the human model suppose i am shrinivas i am communicating with other object i am communicating with other object only objects will communicate sir how can we create object that is just memory allocation plan is nothing but suppose house plan right whenever you are creating object means you need to allocate some memory in this memory only you can construct the object how to construct object and all these things we'll see more briefly so once again simple question what is object oriented programming defining objects and establish communication among the objects if you want to implement object oriented programming one thing is very very important is called class class is the representation of object it's a plan it's a blueprint without class it's impossible to create the object right how many objects you can create only one class you will define any number of objects you can create that is simple but how to create objects and all more technically we will see hope you understood thank you all